Hi, it's day 95. Woohoo! I wanted to ask you, this has to do with trust in a relationship. I've heard of different people who have looked onto their significant other's phone and found something that they thought was potential cheating. And of course the, the, the significant other was very upset that they had looked into their phone and, and then there's the question, is, is it a matter of trust? that the first person should not have looked? Or is it a matter of, are you hiding something that you don't want them to look? That's a really hard question to answer, I think. Um, as far as me and my significant other, <laughs> my husband, I don't, I don't question it. I don't look, I, trust him. I expect that he is being faithful to me. And I would be very surprised if if he tried to hold something back from me. So I suppose it goes both ways. You shouldn't worry about it if someone wants to check your phone. Um, find out who you've been talking to. What about if you're always cleaning your phone out? Is that does everybody do that? No, I don't think so. And if you're clearing your phone all the time, is that suspicious? <laughs> I don't know. But I know that if either way, if if you feel the urge that you have to check that phone or that laptop or tablet or something to see what they've been up to, then you're the one with an issue. Why do you feel you need to? Is there other things coming up in your in your relationship that makes you wonder? And if there is, how about just a straightforward conversation? Are you faithful to me? Is this relationship on good ground or are we rocky? You know, because I, I need to know. If you're feeling like there's somebody else or you're not happy with me, I need to know. And I should be the first one to know. So I think that's an important conversation that should be had regardless of phones and tablets and computers. Just being straightforward, upfront, honest, and getting a straightforward answer is where trust can develop. I think all the, the techno, tech, technology that's out there kind of can make things seem out of place or, or weird or wrong or suspicious <laughs> when there may not be anything to worry about. So I think a, a straightforward conversation in person, one-on-one, -on -one, is an important thing to do if you're worried about the trust in your relationship. Um, and that comes to another point which I think I will cover in my next discussion, which is coming up right away. <laughs> okay, so that's it for this one. If you have a trust issue in your relationship, if you are suspicious, or if your partner seems to be suspicious of you and is always asking to look in your phone or whatever, have the conversation. That's my advice. Okay, talk to you soon.